Today we are taking a tour around B&Q so as you can see there are lots of plants and I think they just stocked up because I come here a lot. They don't usually have really cool plants in. So I was really surprised to see this philodendron ring of fire. Um, it's not a plant I ever see in person and I thought the price was really 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 good considering this was you know a really rare plant not so long ago and then Oh my goodness, some Gloriosum. I was actually shocked. At this point, I said to my husband, you can just go on and I'm just going to take a really good look at what else they've got in this section. They always have really good medium and large size plants, but I feel like the variety today was really peaking. It was a really good selection. This is a plant I used to have and I used to love, but I thought £15 was not worth it to rebuy. Um, but I did really enjoy it. And I thought £12 for a string of pearls was really good, but they didn't look that great. These also don't really look that fantastic. I think they should have been in the clearance section. Um, I was trying to find a price for you guys. And when I saw it, I was like, absolutely hard no for me. Not for £12. I was really drawn to this cactus. I don't know if it's a holiday cactus, a Easter cactus. I forget what they're called, but I thought it was really pretty. Five pounds as well. Not too bad. Would have preferred if it was like three pounds, but that's just me wishing. I really failed to show you how cool these are. I know you're supposed to touch the inside of them. I just didn't want to get my finger in there, but I love the Venus fire traps. Just still don't have one in my collection just yet. And they had a really good selection of cacti and succulents as well. Here's another view of this because someone came in through the entrance and I got shy. <laughs> I love Diffenbachia, but I have a child, so we're staying away from that. Um, I've always loved this plant and I used to have one, but it didn't work out well for me. And I thought £7 is a bit expensive. And I forget the name of this, but this was one of the rarer Calathea. Um, and I haven't had, I thought the price was really good, but I haven't had a Calathea since the beginning of plant collecting many years ago. They're not for me. And I'm sure like everyone else, I just had a really quick look to see if there was any sport variegated Monstera, but there was not. I, I always hope, I always wish. I thought this was an unusual um, philodendron. I do remember buying loads of these from Sainsbury's um, during lockdown and them just being in the way and reselling them. But I thought they were more of the unusual ones. And I love a big plant. I really do. The clearance section, as you can see, everything looks tragic. Um, yeah, <laughs> just tragic. Not for me. There was one thing I was considering. And you can probably tell what it was. It was this one. I just... I left it, yeah. I don't know. I feel like I kind of regret it now. It would have been £6. But I was like, if it's here, there's something wrong with it. I don't know if I can stomach bringing in something with pests. Also, this for £4, half price, because obviously the full price I'm about to show you was £8, I believe. Yes, £4 I thought was really good, but the state of it was not good. So no thank you, spider mites. These were cool. I thought they were really interesting. Put a plant in a bag and hope it survives. Um, these are fine. They're not my thing. I feel like they're more for staging, but I think this section is fine. I thought this was really strange. It was really, really rough. It was apparently a bird's nest fern, but I don't know. I feel like it's not. Maybe it is. And I had to remind myself, I just bought this. I have just bought this. But yeah, that's why it went back. And then... I love the classic pink veining one. Just there in the back. Really, really beautiful. Just not my thing, but really beautiful. Like, all together, lovely. I feel like this is something you pick up from a petrol station for someone, like, as a, a gift. Um, this is huge. This has been here for years. I'm pretty sure that's from Plant Lovers. Um, but I think it's been there for years because it's 100 quid. You know, it's a lot of money. Pretty still. I love, love these so much. And I have tried. But again, not until I have a bit of a warmer house. 
Um, and I've always wanted a bird of paradise. And I said, when we have the space downstairs, I will get one because we've got really big ceilings. These were eye-catching because they were so neon. They were like really bright. I was like, what is this? It's just devil's ivy. It's, it is just a pothos. I thought that was crazy. These were cute. These were really in, I think, in 2020, 2021. A rabbit's foot fern. So cute. If it wasn't £17, I might have had that. That was really cool. I forget this. I forget philodendron pedantum or something. Um... I used to have it. And I'm back at the Gloriosum, obviously. Um, no one came in, otherwise I would have not had left them. But I am going to be choosing between a few of them. And what do we think to this? Is this a rare plant? Is it or just a Brazil? I feel like it, it was, and then I wasn't sure. That's me choosing between the two. And this is what I ended up leaving with. But I put one back. Can you guess which one it was?